Kainarini, Tour Guides Lesson 6, Commentary and Delivery on a Bus, Boat, Walking Here are some tips and considerations for guiding duties. Front seat or back seat. Find the best place to stand that allow you to see all the passengers and vice versa but careful not to obstruct the driver's view of the road or side mirrors. Sitting at the front of the bus allows the tour guide to communicate with the driver on relevant matters. It also enhances the engagement between you and your guests and face-to-face -face guiding creates a more trusting connection rather than talking from the back. The tour guide should stand up from time to time and speak to the group while facing them. Pace and delivery on passing through attractions. At the start of the tour, let your group know which way it is when you say left and right. Be specific with your directions, avoid pointing whilst saying over there, but rather to the front and on your left for example. Practice timing the delivery speech coming up on the right. So as the vehicle approaches the site, passengers will be looking at the right direction. There is nothing that annoys visitors more than being told we just passed the most famous building in the world when they didn't have a chance to see it because you didn't time the speech right. If you can choose the route, choose a circular itinerary so you can circle important streets twice. This will allow visitors on both sides of the vehicle to have a better sightseeing opportunity. Pace the commentary according to the speed of the vehicle and the traffic flow. Sometimes there may be nothing interested to see on the road, so tell some funny stories or create quizzes for your group. Alternatively, you can stretch your commentary during the dull phases with stories and anecdotes until there are an interesting sight coming up. A guide person must be an excellent storyteller, who is able to conjure up images with words and descriptions. It's also encouraging to add personal comments if you live in the area, engage passengers through words, pictures, and narrations. When adding personal comments, if you live in the area being toured, be selective with the stories. Avoid stories related to sensitive issues such as politics, religions, races, or genders. Do not speak non-stop. Aim to speak around 80% of the time and leave some thinking, quiet time for the passengers to chat amongst themselves, and to digest what you have said. Avoid using pre-prepared notes as prompters. Don't overly rely the speech on your written notes because it shows an unprofessional attitude and passengers will lose confidence in your knowledge. Delivering commentaries on walking tours. If you are tour guiding a walking tour, there are some additional factors to remember. 1. Make sure that the walking pace is appropriate to the group, and to the tour itself. This isn't a race. The tour guide must always be in the front to lead the tour, and ensure that the group are close behind. Keep an eye out for slow walkers to adjust the pace to suit everyone. 2. It isn't necessary to talk while walking because you'll be facing away from the group and they won't be able to hear you. 3. Limit your formal commentary to moments when you stop walking. Ideally, Find a slightly higher area where you can gather the group closely around you in a semicircle and deliver the commentary. 4. A step or a rock will be okay to stay on. Some guides carry portable steps for this specific purpose. 5. When delivering commentaries outside, you will have to focus on your voice projection so everyone can hear you. 6. When a question is asked, you should repeat the question so the whole group can hear it then answer loud and clear. This will also prevent the same question being asked multiple times. 7. Carry your guide notes with you, but don't read from them during the tour. They are only for assisting purpose to ensure your speech is delivered thoroughly and in order, you can revise your notes whilst walking or in private. 8. The facts and history of the tour are the key parts of the commentary that all tour guides must memorize. How you deliver them is up to you. You may change it from tour to tour. 9. A walking tour should have a conversational quality about it, with the tour guide painting word pictures to describe the attraction and its history. Finished lesson 6. Thank you for watching.